going to demonstrate oh, how to trim around the face. So we're going to take a metal comb and brush everything forward in one big forward sweep. Now you can either use a curved pair of scissors, which I'm going to do here, to cut around it, or you can use a straight pair of scissors. Hold them by the chin, because it's very important we don't poke scissors in their eyes, so we've got to have control of the hair. And we just go in a semi-circle, looking, if you bring the camera to the top of his head, mm -hmm. looking down from here, we're going to go in a semi-circle, like that. So we make a nice, cute little veranda over his eyes. Then we're going to look at his eyes, brush any hair out of the way, and just trim anything from the front. And that way you're keeping your scissors well and truly away from the eye, so the dog is safe and you're making it nice and neat looking. And if they have any hair here, which the next dog is going to have, we will be trimming it away with the curve away from the dog. So the scissors are curving away to keep him safe. Okay, stop filming. Good boy, Otis. <laughs> okay, so same thing with this dog. We're gonna brush it all forward. He's got obviously a lot more hair than the first dog. Grabbing the chin for safety. And it does seem a bit mean that we're pulling their chin, but we have to keep their head still. Once again, from the top looking down, I'm going in a semi-circle around that fringe to make a nice, neat appearance, but to get it out of his eyes. And this dog has a lot of fluff still sticking up, and we're going to be using the curve away from the dog. Oh, still bad. There we go. Cool. We're going to snip away any hair that's sticking up in the eye there, and any stains go all the way across the bridge of the nose to get it off the top of his nose and we're keeping that point well and truly away from the little dog I'm going to switch hands now I'm going to hold him like this to do this other one good boy Monty just clipping that away from Monty's eye there so he doesn't have that hair sticking up into his eye irritating it and so you can see those beautiful brown eyes you want to see them I'm just going to I'm still babe I'm just going to trim around the front here Again, just to make sure that there's not a lot in his eye. Always keeping the point in a nice direction away from the eye, so we're not accidentally going to poke it in if he suddenly shifts his head. We won't want to do that. So now we can see the eyes nice and bright. Now, the ear. Mm -hmm. Taking the comb. If you take a slicker brush like this one, it's actually very dangerous because this flap of the ear can be cut by the prickles of the brush, so it's not safe to use that brush. We're going to use a comb instead, and because he's got a knot there, what I'm going to do is pinch so that I'm not pulling on his hair, and I can pull that knot out without hurting him. What you do, the technique is put the comb in, pull the hair towards the dog. That way it doesn't actually pull him, and he's not actually showing any signs of pain because it's not hurting him. Um, and it's much safer to use the metal comb than to use your slicker brush. Plus your slicker brush, wow. it just skips right over the knots. And it just leaves knots in the hair. So even if you did go with that, the knots would still be in there because it, it just skips across the top of them. So he's got another one here. I'm going to tease it apart with my fingers. Put the comb in and pull the hair towards the dog. So it's not hurting him one bit because he doesn't feel it. You can try this on your own hair if your hair's long enough. Pulling the comb towards yourself, pulling the hair rather towards yourself, and good you're, boy. you're a good boy. And there, that's getting, and then once you can get the comb all the way through the ear without it pulling or stopping, you know you've got all your knots out. Didn't mean to pull your ear, sorry. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> just go through, like, just find all the hair of your ear. And just do that through the whole ear until where you find knots, you just pull the hair back towards the dog and keep the comb still, basically. Okay. Done. I've been missing it with the brush. Yeah, you've been missing it with the brush because uh, the brush just is going to skip over it. And then what I do to tidy the ends, and I've got to make sure I get both ears the same length because I've just realised I'm still recording. That's okay. <laughs> you still record. Just, um, Snip it in a straight blunt line and then make sure that they're even. Oh. And look how pretty they are. <laughs> You're working the jar now. Look at the camera, Monty. Let's just get a little bit more around the head so it doesn't grow too fast over. 
I'm really confident with, with straight scissors, um, but the curved scissors are actually a little bit safer on the head because you can right. point that you can point the curve away from, from the never eyes. even knew you could get them. And you're all done now. You're all done. Good boy! Right. Oh, it's getting good boy at the end. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>